So today basically we're catching up on all the South Taranaki places that people have recommended uh, for us. This is how we're going to be ending our Taranaki adventures. Today is going to be a rather sad day because this is our final day in the Taranaki region. And then we hit the town, the little town of Manaya. And Manaya, you sort of smell the town before you realize where you are. So we just arrived in Manaya, which is the bread capital of New Zealand. And it smells delicious. We're right in front of the factory, just behind us. And we're going to go in the factory store to get um, some cheap as delicious bread. It smells like what dreams are made of. <laughs> Freshly baked bread. So we walk into the factory shop and we are surrounded by amazing prices. So for instance, they have three bags of Subway rolls for one dollar. Also, there's um, boxes of unbaked cookies and unbaked croissants for about four dollars it's like 20 cookies you can bake for about four dollars laura and i agree that i'm going to pick three items only for this reason i control myself and only pick six <laughs> and laura just doesn't have a choice so tonight we arrive in the beautiful 42b college house in wanganui we will be baking for the whole hostel double chip cookies we arrive in Hawera, the little town. I mean, actually, it's not that little because that's the second biggest town of Taranaki after New Plymouth. So, um, yeah, it's quite a big town. So, we arrive in Hawera to look for the water tower. The good thing with water towers is that they're easy to spot. So, we're just looking for the tallest building, which happens to be a tower. This is the water tower. It's 215 steps. So, it should take about three hours to Laura to climb. <laughs> I think she can do it. I believe in her. If you want to go up the water tower, you have to pay $2.50, a lovely member of staff from the eyesight, and then she will unlock the door and let you into the tower to explore at your own pleasure. So that is exactly what we do. We don't count the number of stairs up there, but there is a lot. We're going in circles all the way up the tower. The inside's pretty cool. There's signs telling you some history of the tower and what a water tower even is, because I'm, because I, I didn't know what a water tower was before I went to Hawira. I have to squeeze myself through a very tiny staircase. From every angle. At the top we get views of the whole of Hawera, which is quite a far stretching town. And then you can see like farmland out in the distance, we can see the ocean, we can see a factory for um, where all the milk goes from all the dairy farming we've been doing. We're supposed to be able to see a view of Mount Taranaki. I can see like the ends of it at the bottom but it's way too overcast today to see Mount Taranaki. But I imagine on a clear day, that obviously would be an amazing view. We get the way down, get back in a van, and the same story start again. We are driving toward Patea. We are arriving in the little town of Patea. I spy with my little eye a small museum which is simply called the Patea Museum, and the sign simply says museum, so they don't bother with anything. 
and uh, yeah, we have a few uh, few minutes to spare, so we are going to go check this one out. First thing first, the design of the building is gorgeous. It's all really, really new, and inside the whole collection design is really, really, really well done. It's, they have some really cool stuff in there. It's not all in an order that makes sense, but they have lots of really cool stuff there. So there's like an old like nine. 1800s car. They have like a fossilized baleen whale jawbone. Yeah, there's all sorts of really cool stuff in the museum. Robin used to operate one of these. How old, how, how many years ago did you operate one of these? They actually not that ancient. I mean, and, and the thing is, the technology hasn't evolved that much. So, time. so there's a lot of avoid, cinema. Avoiding the question. No, there's a lot of cinema which that have pretty archaic equipment, and um, yeah, it's the technology only recently evolved to digital, and it only has been happening in the last ten to seven years. So, did you used to go to a cinema with one of these? In? I'm not that old. <laughs> You're not going to make me say it. There's a waka that they just found washed up on the side of the river. A waka is a canoe in Maori, so they found this canoe washed up on the shore and they brought this to the museum to put on display. We're finally leaving the Taranaki region and there's signs on the side of the road saying like, you are leaving Taranaki, why? Don't leave us, why are you going? <laughs> like, these signs go on for ages. These signs came out of nowhere, so unfortunately we didn't film them as we all passed, so yeah, that was quite funny. <laughs> So we arrive in 42B College House Hostel. And this is where we're going to be spending our time in the small um, town of Wanganui while we explore around. It's actually a pretty big hostel. It's an old college house. Well, hence the name 42B College House. Do we have to pay on donation? Do you have to pay on donation? No, there's no donation here. It's not a tower, not a dog. What? Do we have to pay on do by donation? Where? How do we get in there? 